Hello, I'm Hi Bob Warbob. It's time to play some Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We are going to work on Speed Basics 2 today. We're going to do Optimize Maneuverability, and the enemy has a top speed of 26 knots. I'll be back whenever it's built. So we had to slow down significantly, only 31 knots this time. We're still faster than them, but not as incredibly faster. We've got a four six inch guns. Hopefully they'll work out pretty well. We'll have to angle slightly to get those to shoot and then angle back the other way and we can shoot with them. And we can just switch back and forth like that. Should we be able to do a pretty good job? We will see though. I'll go over a more in depth build at the end of this video. Before the end of the video, obviously, but yeah. Okay. So it's going to be mostly a rear chase. Haven't hit him much. Let's go with the HE shells. There we go. Finally get a hit. Go ahead and come across this way. Of course, if early on you get hit and like it's they hit your engines or something, you're gonna be in big trouble real fast. As long as you can keep uh, firing at them and keep at least relatively close. I think should go pretty well on this one. We could try to go closer to the regular speed. Come on, this. This rudder is a little bit too touchy, in my opinion. Come on. I don't remember if the only goal is to catch up with them or if you actually have to sink them. I can't remember. One way or another, we're going to get it done here. should be pretty easy at this point. Of course, they keep popping smoke and that takes forever. And we're like on fire like all over the place, but Oh, they hit me with a torpedo. One torpedo and we're just done. It's over. That is uh quite depressing there. Of course, we had our own torpedo, but no, we didn't have our own torpedo. We just can't afford it for the weight and everything. I mean, we should be able to do this. This should be, we almost had them done. They just got not a lucky hit with a torpedo, but a good hit with a torpedo, but still, it's all kind of luck in this game whenever it comes to these kind of things like in some ways you can just get unlucky get hit with a torpedo never stand a chance we 
we could set off a smoke train of our own, but I don't see the point of it. Maybe we want to just follow them. Of course, this time, they might not even have like a torpedo facing the side. It may be facing the back, or it may be, you know, different this time compared to last time. We just cannot hit them to save our lives is basically what it comes down to. So let's go to cruise speed then. As soon as we go to cruise speed. Oh my goodness, we just like completely destroyed the backside of their ship. In one hit. All it takes is one good hit. That's why I say it's all kind of luck in this game. Okay, so we want to go slower. Because we really do not want to be at the receiving end of torpedoes if we can help it. Let's go like there. So yeah, we'll just bomb around. Fill them full of shells and call it a day from there. Of course, we're not growing at our cruise speed, so I guess we probably have reduced. Ooh, we got hit with something that started our flooding, but yeah, that's pretty much it for them, right? Please. Just keep going slower then, I guess. Wow. Yeah, we didn't do very well picking out our uh, speed back up a little bit here. Come on, like these guys should be gone by now, I think. We've hit them with so many shots. Okay, don't get beside them. We don't want to get sunk. Yeah, slow down. We destroyed another main gun. Tor your torpedoes look like they're out, and they're out of ammo. So they fired torpedoes at us. They just missed this time. I didn't even ever see them. I guess I was not paying that close attention. Well, that does mean that we can come up to full speed now, I guess. Get our auto rudder going in a circle, pretty much. Should be able to pretty well keep them contained now. We're starting to pump out the flooding, that's good. Get our circle a little bit tighter here. Let them get away a little bit there. Are we out of ammo? I was about to say, if we're out of ammo, I'm going to be so mad. I mean, come on. This is just... <laughs> so frustrating right now because really like they should be gone maybe we just need to slow back down because they're going so slow that we're gonna Come on, just sink already. There we go, come on. We're gonna lose, we just lost. Even with them. That is so frustrating right there. What do we do different? Do we do something different? You can only use like one seven inch gun if you want to use seven inch guns. Using heavy shells 
using regular amount of ammo. We don't even need that much ammo. We were not even close to running out. We could use other types of ammo. We were lighting them on fire, but we weren't doing anything else. Maybe that's what it is. We're also having some problem with this, maybe. Traversing faster is good. We do have a rangefinder, right? Yeah, we got the best rangefinder we can. Plus 45% shell damage. Like, they don't penetrate as well, but they do. more damage. Maybe we just go with gun cotton. Let's launch. Should not be this difficult to beat this guy. Like, time. Huh, this time he popped his smoke immediately. Which is odd. Okay, we think he's a DD probably. Let's go with, see, and then this time we might just hit him, get a detonation of his ammo, and he'll be gone instantly. I mean, we shot him enough last time. It's all about that smoke, man. That smoke is annoying. Let's go ahead and full speed it. We need to actually catch up to him first. I mean, we've got like a 2.2% chance to hit right now. Because of the smoke. I mean, we could smoke him, but I don't see the point. He's not doing much damage to us. What do we got now? 3.6% chance? 3.8%. 3.9 We're getting a little bit higher chance Okay, I think at this point our rear gun can actually fire which is good It's better if we have more guns firing at him Okay, so we killed his captain I guess so I guess that's good. Or is conning or something. I don't know what that stands for. Okay, let's try to get 27. Maybe. See if that does okay for us. Wow, he just pops smoke and suddenly we can't hit him again. 3.8% chance. It's not like we can hit him anyway, it seems like. It's just so... So bad. I mean... Maybe it's just these 6-inch guns are just bad. We need to change to 7-inch guns, but then we can only have, like, one gun on the front. Whenever we have 7-inch guns or 8-inch guns. Which just seems... Kind of bad. See, own crew speed point eight. Come on, there. We should should do better now. Four point one percent chance to hit. Still not great. Fire all over the ship. Sinking due to excessive fire. <laughs> there we go. We just set his entire ship on fire. Good enough so bad whatever so I guess there's three ways you can sink a ship just to have the entire thing on fire have it sink due to flooding or sink it due to structural damage and we just fired it to death okay so we went with maybe maybe the problem is that we need like mixed tech to be able to actually get enough 
damage. Maybe that's what it is, but I went with this one. Maybe I should try the different compound. Uh, actually, I went with crop. And once again, turbine, semi oil, and this time went with balanced. Just because I figured that we won't be hitting quite the top speed this time, so balanced will probably be better. We want heavy shells. We can go with reduced ammo. Um, we aren't using those. I ended up going with gun cotton. Seemed to do okay. It's not anything crazy or anything. Range finder, just because game gun aiming speed, gun long range accuracy. Sounds good. Went ahead and upped the armor a bit on this thing. Went up to 31 knots. About there, I think, on that. Enhanced reloading. Electrical. And... Oh, then we just have to put everything on. Because obviously, without everything on, we don't really know how this is going to handle. Do the whole rotation thing. I think three is enough. Yeah. At least so far. I went with six inch guns. And right about there. And then you just kind of look at what the offset weight is. You aim for about, about there. Should be good. And then see it. Then now it's offset to the rear. So you can move it a little bit further forward, but 1.1 isn't that bad. And then you just up armor, whatever you feel like you need to up armor. Um, belt extended is probably good because you'll be real close and they might hit you in the front. Belt is good because you can pull up beside them. And then deck can be okay just because you, know, you need a little bit of deck armor probably. But you're not going to be fighting from real long range. You want to make sure that your turrets don't get taken out. So you go like 1.5, maybe even 2 inches there. Just so that you don't lose your turrets. You know? And you just kind of have to hope that you can get up on them and destroy them. You could go with a torpedo launcher on the side once you do some damage to them. You know, you could decrease some of your other things, you know, reduce the ammo for the torpedo launcher, only bring a few torpedoes, get like fast ones, get up right next to them and just boop before you even has a chance to react. You know, several different ways you can do it. Well, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Keep your ships protected. Out.